going on, everybody? How's it going to another episode of Geek It Out with the Metal Geek? Today we're going to be discussing the season finale of Last of Us. So I want to know what everyone thought in the comments below on the season finale of Last of Us because Ge Geek has been a long-term fan of the game, The Last of Us. I played the game on the PlayStation about 10 years ago. And all I can say about the series is that it's exactly the same like it was when when I played about 10 years ago and it's just absolutely amazing that how the series just did everything shot for shot and I feel that oh oh um G, G, G tier jerker I mean it was I mean it was sad I mean this was your true survival game I mean and this was basically your true survival series and I mean but in the game there was a lot more infected you had the bloaters uh, running around man th those guys are so difficult to defeat I, I mean I, I can't I, I can't defeat those bloaters man I mean I don't know if anyone else has played the game and tried to destroy the bloaters as well but in in this game I mean the series they only showed it once and that was probably would have to be one of my favorite episodes from the series. Um, but in the season finale, um, uh, Ellie is the, the cure and they needed to operate on. Uh, oh, look who's here. So surprised at Danny. I can't wait for more. Exactly. Um, so what, what is your take on Ellie? I mean, they, they ha she had like a cure in her brain. And they were going to do operate on surgery to cure everybody else. But we found out towards the end that all these experiments that they did, there were so many other patients that they had, and everyone else died in this one. Would have would have let them, but no. But you didn't hear what Marlene said at the end of the episode when they did pay, they uh they tried this on other patients and they all failed. So, Joel made the right decision right here. And uh, yeah, I, I agree with ever so specifically that uh, L and Joel should be sticking together in this one. But as a series, I mean, I like I said, I feel that this was, this is, I mean, I felt like I was playing the game all over again when I was, when I was watching the series because... Every shot in the game was accurate. Like the giraffe that Ellie was feeding was, I felt like I was feeding that same giraffe too. I mean, like I was 10 years ago feeding that giraffe in the game. So, I mean, just exciting stuff with uh, Last of Us. Um, I mean, what what else what else could I say about this, this episode? I mean, I mean, th like Marlene said, there was a cure to it. Ellie and Joel forever. Yes. They are inseparable together. I mean, and then Joel explaining to Ellie at the end about if Ellie met Joel's daughter, that they would get along and that jo she would make Joel's daughter laugh. I thought that was great, you know. And... You think that they're, they're heading back to Tommy? They could be heading back to Tommy. I mean... Ever so spiffy goes inseparable right there. Inseparable. I mean, those two are inseparable. They need to stay safe now. I mean, yeah, and now that, that everybody knows about Ellie, they're going to be uh, trying to come for her now, I guess, because the whole thing that she's the cure, and all these scientists are going to want to wonder how how she works and how she'd not be able to be infected and everything, so they're all going to be coming for her, you know, in the next season. But, but Joel is going to be like that big bear right there. He's, gonna, he's not going to let anything happen. Ellie 
because he's going to be like that big brother right there. So you better watch out, you guys. Because Joel's not going to take no shit. I think the only safe place is at Tommy's. I mean, yeah, but you you have to think how how long until that the all the scientists and the army start coming for Tommy and Joel and Ellie and everybody. I mean, do they have enough? Do they have enough resources just to protect them? Or because because Joel Joel's not gonna put up a fight. Uh, fight, you know? He's gonna do whatever whatever it takes to protect Ellie, so... And, and we know that now, especially how, how we saw in the last, in the last uh, episode, tonight, well, which was tonight's episode, that he went, he went against the whole army just to take back Ellie. But, you know, Joel did the right thing, I believe, because, I mean... He wanted to protect, his goal was to protect her throughout the whole season. So, if he if they would let her have her, then he, he wanted to pursue his purpose. So. I can't wait to. I don't know how long we're going to wait, but hopefully we get an answer soon from HBO when the next season's going to come out. Because, I mean, I'm just so. I just, what was has been everybody's favorite episode, or because uh, my I, I already explained my favorite episode. It had to be the bloater episode when the bloater comes out from under the ground, just attacks everybody, man. That thing is like a tank, man. You know. Hope not two years. I hope not either. I mean, I hope not either. So, but we're just. For those of you that are just joining us, we're talking Last of Us. We're talking episode. The we're talking any episode. We're talking the whole season right now. We're talking the series. So if you're you're in the chat right now, please uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the episode. Let me know what you think of the series if it if it matches up to the video game because I feel like I think HBO and uh, this whole series just did a spot on job. Uh, matching up between this entire game right now. Two years too long. I mean, it, it two years. I I could wait. It all depends on the circumstance right now. So, if there is a really really good circumstance where it's good writing, I'll I'll wait the two years. I'll wait the two years. But yeah, we're, we're talking season uh we're talking season 1 Last of Us. You won't wait the 2 years. I I'll, I'll wait the 2 years, but I mean if we're talking long-term and great storytelling, I'll I'll wait those 2 years. This way it gives me a little bit more time because now I could go back and I could play the second game and I could catch up on what's going on, so and try to compare the two. But yeah, I enjoyed this season. I thought this season was absolutely awesome. We're, we're waiting for more people to come in the chat. So if you're in the chat right now, just leave a comment right now. We're doing a review. This is The Last of Us. That is true, too. You, I mean, you got to play the second game to understand because for it's for people that... Like, let's say you have a good book, for example, and then you have part two to a book. It gives people it's that time to read the book, and it gives, like, for this instance, it gives people time to play the game. So this way, people can compare the two and see which ones they actually like better.
I thought the la- the second to last episode was really good too, the one that just happened like last week. I thought. I thought when she bit his finger off, and she said the line, I thought that line was was stick in my head. That line is absolutely epic, and Be- Bella Ramsey should definitely get get an Emmy for that right there. Joel is the best killing machine. I I agree with that one. I agree with that statement. So. Think about it this way, but then again, you think Joel in Last of Us, and then you think, and then you think Mando in, in Mandalorian. So they're like basically the same character, that that action hero right there. But then again, you you, you think of uh Pedro Pascal's character in Wonder Woman. He's a heel or a villain in that case. He's uh so, but. In other words, he's just a he's such a great action hero in those two uh, series alone, and Pedro Pascal should definitely get an Emmy for Last of Us, and he should definitely get an Emmy for Mandalorian as well. Bella Ramsey's been that good since game since uh, Game of Thrones. Bella Ramsey killed it as Ellie. I agree with that one. For those of you that don't know, we're we're talking Last of Us right now. So if you're in the chat, please leave a comment right now so we know you're here or or like it and a subscribe. What has been your guys' favorite episodes from the season, would you guys say? Last week's? Like anyone else, I'm already ready. I'm ready for season two also. I'm definitely ready for season two. I can't wait for... Uh, to play the game again because this is something I really wanted to do I wanted to play the first game again to see how it compares because I haven't played the game such a long time so I want to see how it compares to the series last week's with the finger yeah that, that, that was epic right there And ever so spiffy goes that, like she was so happy that they reunited towards the end of the episode. And great, such great storytelling. All the actors did great last week. I don't know if you guys noticed that. The guy who played the voice Joel was actually in the last episode. He had a cameo. Brought back the snakes on a plane vibe. (laughs) Absolutely. Who has been some of you guys' favorite favorite characters in, in this series so far? Has it been Ellie or Joel? Who do we have in the chat? Yeah, Ellie. I have Ellie just for some reason because I think some of the lines that she has said throughout the whole her dialogue and this series has been great, but then again, the writers of Last of Us, so most of it came from the game, but the way 
how Bella Ramsey portrayed most of it was her dialogue was even better than the game. So, but for anything, I think Bella Ramsey should get an Emmy for her performance as as Ellie in The Last of Us. She should be, and a, after this, I wouldn't be even surprised if she got m- some movie roles. And w- why do you guys think that? And and why do you think? Why is that your favorite character? And just let me know in the chat. Her lines were epic. Can't get over how she did the finger vibe. I was screaming snakes on a plane. Joel is the ultimate protector. I mean, he really is. He protects Grogu as well. So there you go. It's from the Mandalorian. So. But there was actually a joke last last week that the kids were actually protecting Joel. Ellie really knows her shit. <laughs> I I I 100% would agree with that one. Yeah, I, I'm glad I did this show too, man. Yeah, I'm glad. I mean, like I said, this ga- I, I, when this game first came out, I was so super excited when the series was, was going to come out because I played the game, so I was like, we have to do, yeah, we ha- all have to do a preseason of the, in the next season, but maybe another two years when it comes out. Depends on when HBO wants to renew it, you know, because hopefully we don't have to wait two years, though, but we'll have to wait and see when the second. I mean, we had to wait a little bit of a while because when they announced the game, when they announced the series, and they announced uh, when they announced the series that it was, it took them probably like two or three years to make. But then again, I think it was because, I think because COVID actually stopped the filming of the game, of I mean, the series, so hopefully we don't have to wait too long for, for the, the second season. But here's a question now. What happens if they drop season two of Last of Us and they drop season five of Stranger Things? So what what would be your preference to watch then? So... In the, but in, in my honest opinion, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, is right. <laughs> we'll have to DVR. Yeah, but which one would you watch first? That's the that's the big question. Don't be surprised if we invest in a PS5 like yesterday. I'm itching to play the game. Ever so spiffy, you will be so frustrated in playing the game. It's not all about shooting. It's uh, There's a lot of strategy and figuring stuff out So in the game. So you'll be so frustrated. You have to go through all these walkthroughs just to play the game. So... 
But then again, there's always YouTube to go through walkthroughs, so, you know, it's not, it's not all that bad. I remember play like I guess I remember playing this game till two in the morning when it first came out, so and when I fu when I finally beat the game, ever so spiffy was like You you coming to bed now? You done? Wow, the game's over? Okay. I watched like a champ. <laughs> oh man. We got pizza. What, what are those Doritos in the chat right now? What we got Doritos. Snacks, please. <laughs> Man. Well, we shall see. We still gotta play the we're gonna play the first game and we'll play the second game. I can't I can't wait I can't wait either for the second the second game to come out. We shall see though. So if anyone in the chat they could give it. What what would you give this rating on this episode? And then we're going to give this episode a rating and we're going to give the series a rating as a whole. So as this episode, I'm going to give this episode an 8 as the series as terms of storytelling, I'm going to give this episode a 9.5. Because the storytelling of the of this series was absolutely amazing, the characters were spot on. Um, there were some funny jokes along the way. So I think Bella Ramsey and Pedro Pascal both work very well together throughout this whole series. Agreed. 8.7. 8.7. And 8. Okay. Also agree. But yeah. What, what is everybody's predictions on what's going to happen in the next season? Because next season is going to be based on the second game. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Everybody is excited cuz I I feel I haven't played I haven't played the second game so I can't really make any predictions, but I'm going to make a bold prediction for this one. I think Ellie's mom's still alive. I have I have a funny funny feeling cuz we didn't see anything. We didn't see any uh we didn't really see a shooter. So, I think Ellie's mom's still alive. That's a bold prediction right there that I'm going to make for season two. I think they will go to Tommy's. I think so, too. But there's going to be some secrets and some big stuff that happens in season two. Anyway... 
I want to thank everyone in the chat so much for joining me on The Last of Us review. You guys have been awesome. I think I will leave. Ellie will leave with her mom. I wouldn't be surprised if Joel's daughter's still alive. Somehow, some way. Probably pick up at the end where they left off with what Ellie said at the end of the episode and probably meet Tommy. And Joel will be devastated. Or even meet Joel's, Ellie's mom or dad even. Or Ellie's mom and Joel could get married. That's a, that's a bold prediction right there. That's a bold prediction. Because cause maybe Joel's daughter is the key to uh to the whole thing. And she survived the whole thing. Maybe Ellie's biological dad is still alive. That's another bold prediction right there for season two. But like I said, I still think that, that those are my predictions. Season season two right there. Season one, I'm gonna give it a nine point five out of ten. HBO, you guys did awesome. You guys always do awesome on your series. I don't think you ever disappointed. Joel could be or Joel could be her dad. Her, yeah, Joel could be her biological dad. Ellie's but that's a another bull prediction right there. Thumbs up right there. Thumbs up. So those are the those are some bold predictions I have right there. And we're going to be live tomorrow at 8 p.m. with the Dudes at Ringside podcast. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. Good luck more forward to more in the future. I'll give it a 9.6 too. Season 1. Season one gets a nine point six. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be live tomorrow with the dudes at Ringside Podcast. Our our guest will be Pittman tomorrow, so make sure you tune in eight p.m. tomorrow. Dudes at Ringside Podcast. You can find me, the Metal Geek, live eight p.m. tomorrow with Pittman on the Dudes at Ringside podcast so i'm your host the metal geek i'm your i'm your host the metal geek and i will see you guys in the next one